Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Moon Revelations. If it's your first time stopping here and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I'll be showing how I do makeup on dark skin without altering their melanin color. So guys, first off, I started off with cleansing our face. It's very important to cleanse the face. So I'm using micellar cleansing water from Miss Metics and I'm using my Rebadescu setting spray to hydrate our face before moisturizing. I'm moisturizing with Cetaphil moisturizer. Moisturizing is also very, very important in makeup. No matter your skin type, please don't skip moisturizer. So I'm using two moisturizers. Next, I'm using Omari Code Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer so much. It's a Nigerian brand. I won't be priming her face because I'm going for a dewy finish. So I want a lot of hydration. Next, I'm hydrating her face. I'm using my setting spray from Kiss Beauty to set her face. I also moisturized her lips with Vaseline Lip Therapy. Before I went ahead with her foundation, I used NYX foundation in Warm Malgani and the Tube View Beauty foundation in V Java. That foundation is very dark. So I'll be mixing those two foundations together. I used a small flat brush to place the foundation on her skin before using the flat side of my pewter sponge to blend the foundation on her. When blending, please don't press. Don't be too hard. Just tap gently because when you're too hard, you can possibly leave patches. So you blend gently. After blending, I use more setting spray to set the whole foundation it's like i'm locking the foundation on her face next i use my eye magic palette as my cream blush i use the red shade because she's dark skin you know blush the something it just gives instead of the face looking bare it warms up the face and also add color i blend that on her cheeks taking it high above her hairline then I dab the leftover on the tip of her nose. Then I used Nuban Concealer in 045 and 043. I used 045 all over the part I want to highlight. Then I just used the 043, which is quite lighter. I used that only in the inner corner of her eyes just to brighten up the under eye a little. I like to leave the concealer there in for a little while to get some coverage before blending. So for that time, I go ahead to do my cream contour. I used the V Beauty foundation before I then go in to blend the highlighted areas. When I light it, sorry, when blending, I like to start blending from the outer corners before going in. Please just make sure you're being careful every time you blend. I also contoured the nose. You know we need to get our nose snatched. Always make sure you blend properly to avoid ash lines. And also, before setting the under hide, you have to make sure there is no creasing. Be sure to go over with your beauty sponge to blend properly before setting. So I used um, Milani powder, Milani compact powder to set a uh, Honda high. I think this one I'm using is in medium. That's the one in medium. I used that to set all the highlighted areas. I then used a powder shade in the Royal powder palette to set the rest of her face. I'm mixing this orange and red blush together. The red blush, I don't know the name of that blush, I'm sorry. But the palette blush is CPD. It's a Nigerian brand. Then I go ahead to bake. This will also help me catch eyeshadow fallouts when I'm doing a eyeshadow. And I think this is the powder I'm using 
I mix this setting powder, that's Sasha Potter Cup and Esperon. I mix those two together in a container and uh, I'm using that to just bake and also do a reverse contour. I did a browse of camera, so I'm using the leftover concealer for a high shadow base. I'm blending that, tapping that all over her eyelid. I used a pink eyeshadow from the Blossom African Queen palette. I'm tapping that all over her lid. I'm going for a matte look. Um, and then went in with a wine shade. I'm using that on the outer V of her eyes. And a white matte eyeshadow on the inner corner of her eyes. The secret to eyeshadow placement is blending. Making sure there are no demarcations, you are blending everything so well. So at this point, I'm going to let you guys just watch and enjoy the process. Please, if you have any question, kindly leave it on the comment section below and I will surely respond to every question. Voila, and here's the finished look, guys. I used to see her melanin was not altered at all. Her color was intact. She's glowing and looking even more beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, 
comment and uh, share yes kindly share this video please share this video and subscribe to this channel if you are not and i'll see you guys in my next video bye